Hi, Darren here. The other day I was at the coffee shop and I saw these long articles that I wanted to read, but I didn't feel like I had the patience to read them. They were so long. Besides, I needed to get home and I needed to cook something. I needed to cook lunch. So I thought to myself, huh, I wonder if there is an app or a way for my computer to read the article to me, right? Because I know that it could recognize text and convert that to speech. That's getting to be pretty good. So uh, there actually is, and I want to show it to you. I think it can make a big difference for you, uh, not only in giving you the chance to read some articles by listening to them. I tend to learn better when I listen. But also to uh, maybe if you're writing, you can have it read back to you, and you can maybe get an insight for an edit from there. But here's how you do it in a Mac, is you go to your system preferences, right, that little gear panel there, and you go to the speech tab. And you click on the speech tab and you'll see there's two tabs, speech recognition or text to speech. You'll want to click text to speech and you'll see this is your settings for text to speech. So you can have a normal speech rate or you can speed it up. You can choose different system voices. You can download other voices. We've got Alex here right now. And whenever you have something highlighted on your screen, uh, something in Word or something on the web, and you hit this key, Option Escape, that will activate the text-to-speech. So let's give it a try. So we've got that checked, so it's activating speech-selected text when the key is pressed. So I'm just looking at a blog. This is my blog, uh, No Time for Creative and Strategic Thinking, uh, Solar Freaking Roadways, One Second of Failing or Falling. Uh, let's see here, it's grow time, oh, interesting article, let me read that. So what I'll do is I'll just highlight uh, the text I want. You could highlight the whole article if you like, and then I'm going to hit that option escape key. It's spring, grow time. The birds are returning to Madison, Wisconsin. The snow is melting, and I have added about five new hobbies this past week. They include using eBay. All right, so that was a little slow for me. So I can go back to my system preferences, go back to speech, and I want to speed that up, right? Because I think I can get more read or listened to by speeding it up. So I can go back there, and let's try it now. It's spring, grow time. The birds are returning to Madison, Wisconsin. The snow is melting, and I have added about five new hobbies this past week. They include... Using eBay to identify the best value in Greek coins, building, winning, and collecting dug up ancient Greek coins, researching how to... All right, so still that's a little slow for me, so one last shot. I'm going to go back to speech. Uh, I'm going to speed it up even more, but this time I'm going to try another voice. Let's try Samantha's voice. I downloaded that one, and let's speed that one up even more to see what that looks like, right? And then let's highlight some text and give it a listen. I've also begun another totally different hobby, building apps. I was struck with this idea, learned how to use a software, and have built six Android apps so far, available in the Google Play Store. Making the apps available for Apple devices will be next if this gets traction. Spring is grow time. I think it is a great time to take advantage of growing, creating, developing, or making something new. This could be a new hobby, like ancient Greek coins or a new skill, app development. That could become a focused career direction, or new products and services that you can offer. Digital innovation and leadership learning apps. All right, so that is faster. You can see a different voice. You saw a few different uses of the text-to-speech function on the Mac. And there's also apps that will do this for you too, apps that will help you read a PDF. So if this is something that you think could save time and, and enhance the way that you work and live, give it a try. Try it out. Uh, I think it's great for reading some articles that you normally wouldn't read, especially while you're doing something else, like organizing something, cleaning something, cooking something. And I also think it's great for, uh, if you're a writer, uh, have your writing read to you, and you'll find some edits to make or some changes to make. I've already noticed some from this test here. So I'm Darren Ike, and that is an innovation tool for you.